Hello everybody, so I know I'm quite sure everybody knows the news, I'm doing mine a little later, uh, about um, Dustin Diamond, you know, Screech Powers, the actor that plays Screech Powers on Say by the Bell. Um, if you guys are eight, uh, you're born in the 80s and you were a 90s kid, you understand, you will know what this show is. Say by the Bell was a um, teenage sitcom, it was many of those back then, you had USA High, you had California Dreams, and so many of them. Well, all the same show, but um, Say by the Bell was my show. I like those shows too, but Say by the Bell was my show. I used to love <laughs> Say by the Bell. I mean, if you watch it today, it's still it's still good. It's just it's a very corny show, very very goofy show. But it was my show back in the day when I was growing up. I grew up and watched this show every time it came on. Um, Screech was a character on there. His little nerdy character, friends with the other cast members. He was. Funny, he made one of the characters on there. One of my favorite characters on there made the show. He, he was so goofy and funny and nerdy. I was like, I like, cause I like those kind of characters, like like Steve Urkel, kind of like that. But uh, he made the character. He was a good, he was hilarious on that show. There's a lot of episodes. I know I, I'm, I wish I can remember all of them top of my head, but I think almost every episode I liked it, man. Um, my main was remember he made his uh, screech sauce. He made the screech sauce. I like that episode. Uh, the one that uh, Zach. Kisses Lisa. He was mad about, um, you know, that that happened with that. It's been so many episodes. He even had Tori Spelling was his girlfriend, also, on there too. A couple times, a couple episodes. But uh, a lot of episodes he was in. He was funny. And I know he had he had his problems with um, the cast um, and um, him getting in trouble in, in some. I think a bar. He had a fight in a bar and stabbed somebody. But you know, people do crazy stuff. Some people do crazy things back in the day, and they they can change over time. Um, it's even that little that incident with that sh I don't know what that show was called then. It was Celebrity Fit Club. What was it called? He had an incident with the judges. But, um, you know, throughout time, he, you know, tried to make men's with the cast, which I didn't really know because I hadn't been really following, really. Um, he, he, I, I, didn't, I didn't know he made a lot of apologies. I know he, he was okay with uh, Mario Lopez. He did that little interview with him on, um, I think, on E! Entertainment Tonight, I think, or one of those shows. It's like that. I'm not really sure. But, um... That's probably one of the reasons why I refuse to watch the Peacock show. I don't I have no interest in watching it because they don't bring back Lark Voorhees or Screech, who also were great characters on there. So I'm like, without them, what's the point? What is the point of watching that show? So I have no interest. I have no interest in watching it whatsoever. I know they brought Lark Voorhees back last minute as a cameo, but that show is like it's like a disaster without those two characters on it. Um, it's a dog on shame. Uh, they, they, he was excluded out of the reunions. I know he made that. They made that book. He made the book about them, and they, and they had that. I think it was a Lifetime movie, the little documentary they had on Lifetime, and the actual actual full length movie. That I think he was the consultant in. I think producer, or whatever. Um, but uh, that the Say by the Bell show was my show, and even, I even like the new class because he was on there. He continued on there with Mister Belding. He was like an assistant, I think, with Mr. Belding also. So he was also good on I don't remember too much of the new class because that was years ago. I didn't really, I watched more Say by the Bell than I did the new class. Um, I, I, keep, I keep forgetting also, before Say by the Bell, it was called Good Morning, Miss Bliss, which I have the set right here of all the, I have the whole series of Say by the Bell, which I, to this day, I can still watch. Pretty funny show. If you guys don't have the set, buy it on, I think it's on Amazon. Or Shout, I got this on Shout Factory. You get the complete series, including the horrible the college years, which I never really, even when I was young, I never really cared about the college years that much. It was, uh, it was all right. But uh, the new class I like better than the college years because college was kind of a horrible show. But uh, he made the show, and it's a shame that he couldn't, uh, you know, they should have talked to him. You know, like, okay, like, for example, look at Will Smith and Janet Huber. It took them, was it, was it 30 years, I think they said, or something longer than that? They finally made amends. Um... Another, another um, one, uh, Three's Company. Uh, John Ritter, before he died, he made amends with Suzanne Summers, and um, Joyce DeWitt finally did with her. So they're, I, I guess they are all okay now. Martin and Tisha Campbell, I think they're still fine. They finally made up. This never happened. It's a shame, and he's already passed on. Never happened. So, and he could have been in the show. All of them could have been in the show. Um, and then. Like I said before, I have no interest. I don't think I ever will watch the Peacock show at all, the reunion show, because just because them two are not in it. Uh, well, they had Lisa Turtle for a cameo. I heard just one little scene. I still don't want to see it. even if even if she, if, she, even if she becomes a regular. It just ain't the same without Screech. So rest in peace, Dustin Diamond. I mean, <laughs> funny dude on that show. So he was one of the characters I liked on the show more than anybody else. He was hilarious on there, uh, goofy. 
which I like those kind of characters, like I said before, like with the Steve Urkel character. Um, but you, you can't have a reunion show without Dustin Diamond. Another thing, I just don't like the way that the show is lined up. I like, they should have made it a sitcom kind of way, like they did the original show. So the way they're making it now, like kind of like a, I can't, I can't, it's not an audience. It's it's not an audience. You know, I, I like those kind of sitcoms. Like it's not like it's like trying to make it like Modern Family and and all those shows like that. But it's not made. It's made differently. Um, and I just have no interest in seeing that. Also, and not, another thing is no Mister Belding on the show. Where the heck is Mister Belding? He made the show too. No Mister Belding either. He was in none of the reunions either. This, I don't understand this reunion crap. That this this reunion was atrocious. I don't understand why they didn't invite everybody. Talk to him. They could have talked to him and sat down with him. They could have made it up. Janet Huber and Wilson is a perfect example of, you know, how they can make amends. Look at all the crap she said about Will Smith. And they were worse than anything this Diamond would probably, probably have said. And they made up. They sat down and talked to their problems. Made up. That's all. I'm not, I'm not trying to blame the other cast, but that's what uh, Mark Gosselin and all of them could have done. They could have sat down and talked to Dustin Diamond and, you know, talked to him. And he could have been close again uh so but like i say i'm not i'm not i'm not i'm not blaming anybody i, I don't want to be like that saying that it was there for, you know that before he passed he should have talked to him but they did make their own comments about him dying it was like sending their prayers and everything but it's a shame that the that the reunions they did they didn't include them in there include them or lisa turtle in case of lisa turtle log her character log Voorhees. so well, Screech Powers, dustin diamond rest in peace man he uh he had died of lung cancer he had stage four lung cancer and when i heard that he was in so much pain at the hospital. I I didn't want to think that way, but it just didn't really sound good. I was like, uh, I don't know about this. They said he had a lot of pain. They, they were trying to give him the treatments, but it apparently didn't work because, man, he's gone. So rest in peace, Dustin Diamond. So, yeah. See about the bell. I might, might want to watch a little bit, Um, maybe as a little tribute, maybe sometime, maybe today or maybe this weekend or something like that. But that was my show growing up. If Like I said, if you are a 90s kid, <laughs> it was so many say it was so many copycat of say by the bells i mean it's many of them but say by the bell was my main one uh there was other ones i like like i did like usa high that was on usa network for me uh, uh california dreams there's other ones i can't think of the top of my head but there's been so many copycats of say by the bell but say by the bell was the main show but yeah rest in peace dustin diamond um uh, rest in peace man but you were funny <laughs> growing up you was one of the characters i really liked on the show and growing up, I, I had a good laugh. You acting crazy on that show. So, rest in peace, man. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this little tribute to Dustin Diamond. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, if you don't have the set, and it's really hard to get the new class now. It's, I think they're out of print now, but the new class is really hard to get. It's like some of you can get, but they're really, really high on Amazon. Really high. So, it's going to be really hard to get right now. So, I was thinking about trying to get that now, but that's a lot of money. It's like five, six seasons, I think, of that, I think. But I want to see, I want to watch that too so I can see more of the memories I can get back. I don't remember not one episode on that show. I used to watch it too, but I don't remember not one episode. So rest in peace, Dustin Diamond. Hope you guys staying safe and healthy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.